Hey guys, Sean from Explominate here, and what we're having a look at today is Regiments. So Regiments is an RTS, uh, sort of, kind of, like, maybe Steel Division, I've been told, or like World in Conflict kind of thing, so like somewhere in the middle there. So it's an RTS, it's being developed by Bird's Eye Games and published by Microprose. It's actually been made by one guy, as far as I know, which is pretty impressive, I think. Now... We've covered this on the channel before, except last time the build only had the skirmish mode, which was I actually quite enjoyed. Now, in this version of the playtest, there is no skirmish mode. As you can see, it's crossed out there. What we've got instead is a mode called Operations. And I don't know if it's going to be part of the campaign or what the go is there, but it's also had a lot of updates with the mechanics. And, it, you know, as you would expect, it is a much newer version. So, anyway, and as usual, you've got the tutorials, the Regipedia, like an encyclopedia of all the different units and all that. So, yeah, we'll dive in and have a look at this operations. We'll go a new slot. Alright, so this, there's only one operation at the moment. It's called Operation Firebird. Now, the idea of this is to breach German defences, capture an air force base, and then hold it against counterattacks. So, it's a three-part operation. Now, this is something I actually had trouble with for a bit. I ended up jumping into the regiment's Discord and having a chat with them. So this here is your... They're your regiments, your units that you take with you on every mission. So they're, they're permanent. Now, down here, what you can do is you can summon in extra units called Task Forces. So I'm going to pick... Okay, the other. Yeah. So they've all got different, like, specialized, more specialized sort of units. So I'll go the Octava because it's got the SU-25 rocket barrage, which is a pretty cheap, and it's an ability with a low cooldown too. So yeah, it's cheap, low cooldown, pretty handy. And then also when you upgrade it to level 3, you get access to an MI-24 helicopter, which is really useful because they're quick and they hit hard. And they're, they're very useful for like a quick reaction kind of thing. Or uh, in some circumstances, a scout maybe. I wouldn't want to get them too close to AA, but you know. Alright, so I'll pick that one. Now what I was having issue with actually was that I was getting all three of these. And then I was trying to upgrade them. And then I didn't have enough points to actually deploy all of my units. Because I wasn't putting any, any of these points, these operational authority points, into my deployment points. Which increases the pool of points you have to deploy units in the field. So I'm going to do that now. Yeah, but it was royally stuffing me up, basically. <laughs> I just didn't have enough points to do anything. Uh, now I'll upgrade this as well, just so I get the SU-25 rocket barrage. And I might put the last few points into supplies and tactical support. So that puts me at zero. Alright, now this is the event screen. So these are sort of like cards that you can pick that give you different effects on each phase. So, so as you can see, some are positive and some are negative. What I might do straight up, I'm going to pick Electronic Warfare because I don't think I actually have any SAM units. So I might pick the next one just to get rid of the negative events early. We'll see how we go. All right, load it up to battle. New objective received. There we go. Alright, so this is the map. Battle map. Now on this map we've got to do three object complete three objectives. So you've got to take Weira East, Hill 71, and secure an exit stage, which is either here or here. So you can take the entire map, but these are the three conditions required to advance to the next step. Now I'm gonna start deploying my units. I want to try and push up towards where it is pretty early, so I'll put recon unit. You got uh, 122 mil artillery and then 152 mil, so I'll put 122 mil here. 
Because the 150 mm has more range. Get a tank as well. Uh, T64s. BMP. Might take a mortar there as well. Oh, and I need assault engineers. Um, might take a Shuka AA unit as well. These are 75, uh, sorry, 100 points. So I'll go... Go a, another BMP. So what I'm trying to accomplish here is my main force is going to push up the warehouse towards Weir East. And my secondary force here is going to support my allied units here because I found they tend to be kind of suicidal <laughs> they will just rush the point and not really worry about their own safety kind of thing so just a I I can't keep them alive for the entire mission but I can keep them alive for longer <laughs> if you get what I mean so let's get these guys all ready to go now you can actually get units to hold fire I'm going to do that with my uh, recon unit, just so they don't draw unwanted attention. It's everything. Alrighty, let's go. As you can see, you can pause it too, which is really nice. Because you can sort of get the hang of, look around, see what's going on, and then react accordingly, and then hit play again. Now, as you can see here, each phase lasts for 20 minutes. It's supposed to represent a full day of battle, I think. It was Steel Division that does that as well. On him. The allies. Oh, yeah. Right, so they're suppressed. I'm going to try and move my engineers in. How are we going over here? Right, now with your IFEs, you need to deploy them to really get the full benefit of having them, which I just forgot to do. <laughs> so, oh, we'll open up with artillery as well. No, we'll open up on the back one there. I think they're going to get that front units, that front leopard's going to get hit hard enough as it is. So everybody shoot at that leopard. And I'm going to see. If I can somehow get around that unit, shoot it, leopard. Alright, let's go. There we go. Alright, now this is where the assault engineers come in. The idea is that they're going to get up to that point and then breach it. They're going to breach these obstacles here. Can you guys just kill that thing? That would be really helpful. You know what, might even drop a smoke on top of that leopard, just some focusing one target. Oh, there we go. Now they're leaving. Wait. Alright, get my artillery to stop firing. I don't want to burn through all of my supplies too quickly. 
Alright, drop another... Oh, actually, I'm not going to drop that. You know what? Go tactical missile, whatever. Because I really want that thing gone. <laughs> So, so far that leopard isn't doing a lot of damage to me. There we go. Alright, so yeah. The main purpose of Assault Engineers is to do pretty much that. Get rid of enemy defences. But well, it's just done. Alright, now I'll just get it to open up. You can see the optimal range is there. Alright. Get my artillery to work over here. Wow, that thing got obliterated. <laughs> the MP. Oh, there we go. Now it's leaving. Oh, no. Allies just got wrecked. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, righto. That's their recon unit that must have spotted me before. I really, really want to kill that. Regular BMPs are also pretty good for breaking obstacles, so... Yep, that was pretty much done anyway, so... Ah, uh, you know what? That obstacle's basically gone anyway, I don't know why I bothered. There it goes. Alright. Now my units can actually do stuff. Alright. Get my uh, cats, uh, cats here to open up. Might move my mortar back, get it rearmed. There we go. Want that gone. There we go. Can't really move around there, I don't think. Stop firing now. There we go. Actually, fire on that. Zone captured. Right, so we've got Hill 124 capped. About to get the warehouse capped. I don't know what just happened with that unit. Vanished or what, but retask my artillery to have both of them hitting that Jaeger. So Hill 124 is mine. Sweet. Warehouse is just about done. I'll even just retreat that T64 for now. Alright, Mortar's back at full ammo count. Oh, hello. What have we got? Oh, jeez. Some help here. Let's uh, 
get both of the artillery units to open up on that rocket. That like rocket artillery, I think. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, damn. That didn't go very well. Oh, no. Jesus. Rocket artillery hurts. Damn, I think it's murdering my tank. Might as well go take India while we're here, I guess. There we go. Got him. Okay, I might send the new T-64 up to reinforce. You know, it's just retreating. Oh, crap. Almost a clean miss. Sweet. So we've just made one leopard retreat. Cats here to open up and that martyr. I might as well retreat that BMP because it has no ammo left. I think as soon as I cap India, I might have to retreat anyway. Zone captured. Ah, crap. I think everybody's running out of ammo. Oh, there we go. That did it. Big hit. Alright, I might just... Oh, hang on. Sorry. I'll just retreat all of these units, all my... Get them all to rearm and be ready to go. Hopefully make a big push for the... Very east. Oh, hello. What are they doing? Let's sit here. Just in case. I don't know what that is. Be that spoiling attack that I was warned about. Alright, now I can start bringing my units back in since they're rearmed and repaired. So India's within range of any everything, so if that is this attack, should hopefully be pretty well prepared to deal with it. Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, that tank's dead. So dead. So 
Looking like the biggest threat's coming from this direction. I think. I don't see anything else over this side. I don't know if it's just me, but the AI oh, seems to be pretty on the ball. Well, they're not just you know, brainless roaming around kind of thing. Like They'll actually take objectives back. Oh, there we go. Found him. Jesus, ow. Zone lost. Ah, oh, no. Hang on. I have another one back here. Right, let's see a cat's here. Where's the other one? There we go. Everyone should be hitting that. I think that BMP is going to have to retreat pretty much right away. Alright. I'm going to need to give them as much support as I can. Oh, no. Oh no, they're retreating, I think. Yep. Wait. Oh, far out. Yeah, I'd say this would have had to have been that spoiler attack. I think there was, what, three platoons there? Should be fine now. Look at all that artillery dropping in. Glorious. Oh crap. <laughs> right as he says, look at all the artillery. They dropped some of their own. Leg it. Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, this should be pretty safe now, I think. No, they've missed. That must have been the tack aid, I think. Yeah. I would say. I really like how it leaves the marks in the field, too. In the craters and the destroyed vehicles. Very cool. Alright, alright. Okay, we get the point. I think it's done. Alright. Okay, so we'll move up. My assault engineers take this point. Bring another BMP up as well. Shouldn't be much trouble to take that. So I've got not so many one in range of pretty much everything. Hopefully be prepared to bring down some herd on them if there's anything in there. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do about Vera East this time. Depends on what's over here. Like, if I don't need anything, then I might be able to move some units around. Zone captured. There we go. The 124 is mine. You can see the different symbols here too. Like that's your victory points, points towards moving to the next area. These are um, they give you more points to deploy units with your operation points. Yes. May even be able to take valley. Maybe. Five minutes remaining. 
I don't really know. Maybe I'm even just bring these guys over here. Zone capture. Wait. Alright, I own Hill 71. Sweet. Ah, see, this is... Probably should have kept a hold of my engineers. Block the valley. That's alright. I might go try and take... Point up here. Take Hill 99, maybe, and go from there. Yep, alright, so both my artillery units still have range way out. That should be okay, hopefully. If I can move my recon unit up to have a bit of a peek. Oh, hello. Whoa! Hopefully they haven't been spotted. Treat that BMP now, I think. It's too much there. To deal with. Alright, should be right now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so hitting him from the front is nowhere near as effective as hitting from the side, which is what I've just done, I think. I really should have just done that with the IFE, but this guy's could just shoot, that would be awesome. I'm gonna have to retreat that BMP now, too. Damn. Alright, there's also veterancy levels in all of his units for every kill or... I think it's based off kills, I'm not sure. Their veterancy level goes up anyway. And then they can... Basically just increases their stats, I think. I've got about a minute to try and take this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'll give it a red hot go. It'd be great if I could, though, because then I'll have both of these points capped. The problem is I'm going to have to break through the obstacles and... Secure this area. Now my mortar has no ammo, which is pretty much useless to me. Okay. Alright, so we've made one retreat. Start. One minute remaining. Okay. Now there's only two units left, so I should be able to just target them individually, I think. If I can't take it, I can at least break these obstacles in front. There we go. Beautiful. Still going pretty well, I think. Soviet 
I love how their artillery kind of knocks the crap out of me, but this doesn't seem to be doing much to them at all. It's essential though, like you've got to panic their units and suppress them, you know, slow them down. Ah, um, no, that was a waste, I'm not going to get to use it. Completed. Alrighty, so this is the after action report for phase one. Basically, yep, the allies got themselves messed up pretty much as I thought they would. I've kicked the pants of the bad guys pretty well, actually. I haven't lost any units yet, which is good. Like, you've got to keep... If you retreat them, they rearm and they come back ready to go. But if you lose them, they lose all their experience and everything. So, I don't want that. Now, if we have a look around, I can't move the map. We've done okay. You know, like Hill 71's taken. Hill 99, like, I've got some zones here that will give me points. Oh, there was artillery coming in on me too. Damn. Good thing I ended it right there. And then doing a big push for Weary East at the moment, which hopefully we should have in the next phase. So we'll see how we go then. But until next time, this was Sean from Explorminate. Have a good one.